Welcome back to Boomer's Playground. And today we're going to be going over coding exercise 36 from the Cold Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. We're still on our, our introduction to functions section. And today we need to define a function called rant, which accepts a string argument called message. The function should print out an uppercase version of message three times. So <laughs> If you've been watching any of my previous videos, I have mentioned at one point that I like to, to write pseudocode to kind of break things down. So if you're new to programming, this is your first programming language, you come here, you just did the last one, you're like, oh man, JavaScript's not that tough. And then you come to this and you're like, holy crap. Like that's a lot of things to do. So um, so here's where I, I will start using pseudocode. And, I know it sucks. It's gonna, if you already know the answer for this, um, first off, why are you watching the video? But second off, um, it's just a little extra time, but I think this is really, really beneficial and it will help you as you get into the further parts and um, start struggling more. So, so step one is create function called rant. All right, and step Point five should probably be learn how to spell, but all right. Step two is um, function accepts argument named message or called message named called doesn't matter. So this is something I do want to bring up is um, when you're creating a function, and this is going to seem kind of um, pedantic. And actually, let's let's finish this little code, then we'll go over this. So, all right, so we have that, accepts that, and then we need to step three, um, print uppercase version of message, and four will be um, print it three times. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a function. So function called rant. Step one is done. And so here's the reason I really like using pseudocode is if you just read this, you know, your mind was probably thinking, okay, what is message? How do I uppercase it? I remember that from before, but I don't exactly remember it. Um, I've got to create a function. What is an argument? And you're going to have this huge thing where you're like, now you're so confused and you, you kind of, you know, you might be getting on yourself and you're like, well, I mean, I, I can't do this. But when we break it down, let's say we get stuck somewhere, we only have to search one thing. Like, what do you search? Like, what do you Google when you're trying to solve this whole problem at once? So we have step one done. And let's put X because it's done. And then here's the thing that I wanted. Um, it's going to seem pedantic, but as you're asking for help, this could come into play. Terminology is and isn't important. So in reality, when you're creating a function, this thing right here, uh, the thing the thing in between the open and closing parens is called the parameter, not the argument. And I know that sounds dumb, but if you're asking for help, that could be the difference between me thinking you're creating your function and me thinking you're calling your function. Because what happens is um, when you call the function and you pass whatever in, that's actually called the argument. And I'll, I'll clarify that a little bit when we get to it. But um, so, oops, sorry guys. All right, so now we've done step number two. So we have our parameter in here. Now we need to print the uppercase version of that. And so I don't know if you guys remember from a couple videos ago, but let's just do this and we'll do uppercase JS. Okay, it was just two uppercase. Okay, perfect. And let's see. And so um, we know it's a string because they're telling us that it is, right? It's going to be a string argument or actually a string parameter. So all we should have to do is to uppercase, and then I think it says to print it, right? Yeah, so we got to print it. So we'll console log that, we'll do that. And then 
Um, here you'll see um, it should do it with three separate calls to console log. So what I'll see a lot of people do is they'll do rant and they'll do I hate beats and then they'll just do this three times, but that's not what it's asking for. So let's um, see what our test says. All right, expected one to be three. Okay, so um, this is really the key point right here is it says it should call console log three times, not the function three times. So, um, and th this is all about verbiage as well. Um, sometimes, so they could have said only call the function once that might have helped because this one does get a lot of people for the reason I just showed. Um, so I, I think the wording could have been a little better in the description, but nonetheless, the error kind of helped us. And so, um, you know, that's how to do it in the old ES5 function way. I also wanted to bring up that, again, in the creation of the function, this thing is called a parameter. But when you actually call the function, this thing is called an argument. And again, I know that seems dumb, and I know that seem you might be like, who really cares? But um, again, it, it could be the difference between you asking and saying like, oh, hey, you know, I'm calling my function with the parameter blah, and it's not, you know, giving me what I, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, how are you creating your function? You're like, no, 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 I'm calling it. And I'm like, now you don't see that a whole lot, but just kind of keep that in mind. So uh, that was the old ES5 way. And then we can also do it the old, or the new ES6 or, Oh, hello, ES6 or um, arrow functions as they're called. And we'll just do the same thing. We'll do bam, bam, and then we should still pass the test here. And you'll see that we do. So both of these pass the test. Um, again, I think the, the verbiage of the description could have been a teeny tiny bit better, but we still figured it out. And, you know, this is just our next um, bit into functions, and we have a lot more fun ones coming up. So I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next exercise.